If you're choosing the cardboard weaving for your project, you're gonna need at least 10 pieces of cardboard. Some of these cardboards are recycled from cereal boxes or just other um, boxes that we had, so you might have a side with something on it, but um, paint one of the sides, and we're gonna focus on creating some really cool patterns, um, some really cool, using some cool colors together to really make our weaving pop. So this weaving is about weaving, but it's also about painting. So you're gonna need a table bin with some paints in it. This one is a disaster that someone could clean up. Um, but we are going to start by just using the colors that we have in our bin. And I'm just gonna pick out one and use it. So I've got this like pink reddish color. I'm gonna paint it onto this strip of cardboard. One thing that I did not do that we should probably all do before we start painting is write my name on the back of each one of these 10 strips. You at least need your initials on the back, if not your name on all 10. You're gonna start by painting, and you can get a crazy paper if you want to to protect the table so you don't have to clean up the table later. But you're just gonna start by painting the whole strip with one color. We wanna start with a good base coat. This color is not very um, opaque, which means it's kinda of see-through. So I might need a couple coats of this color, so I'm just gonna paint it one time. I'm gonna set it over to the side and then I'm gonna continue painting some more strips. You can decide if you wanna continue with these. You could do five, one background color and five another background color, or maybe five of my strips will be warm colors and five will be cool colors and I can weave those together. Or they could just all be this pink color and then every strip has some cool patterns or um, detail on top of it that's a different color. So it's totally up to you. You just need to have a plan before you start and um, play with the way the colors look together. If these look good together and you think that they'll weave good together and the colors will blend nicely, then you can work on uh, separate colors. It's totally up to you how you paint all 10 of your cardboard strips. First, just one coat.